works. Old stuff doesn't work, who said that? Not me. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jayla. I go by Jayla Says on all my social media and I'd appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed. And follow me on Instagram too. Today's video is going to be a pretty and glam lip swatch. If you are not new here then you know I did this before two years ago but that video it no longer exists. So I'm gonna do an updated one and show you some of my favorite lip glosses that I've gotten from Pretty and Glam over the years. Pretty and Glam is a black owned and black woman owned brand straight out of Detroit, my hometown, and I'm really excited to show you because these are the glosses that I wear all of the time. If you see a picture of me and I'm wearing lip gloss nine times out of 10, that is where it came from. What I'm wearing on my lips now is just chapstick. I just wanted to start with a blank canvas, but I can't come on here with dry lips. So y'all gonna drag me? No, I think not. But without further ado, let's get started. So the first one I have here is Boss Lady. It's this really pretty pinkish purple color. Let me swatch it on the back of my hand for you. So you can see that sorry I had some issues with my camera but it's really pretty on as well I'll show you what it looks like on yep very very pretty And of course these are going to look a lot different with lip liners. I'm just showing you them straight out of the tube onto my lips. There's nothing on my lips. Um, but that is the first one. It is called Boss Lady. And of course I'll have these all linked, below, uh, <laughs> linked down below in the description box. This is the next one I have. The sticker actually came off of this one. So I don't know what the name of it is off the top of my head. But I will have it linked down below. But it, this one is a really pretty kind of like a mauve type of pink. I don't know if you guys have noticed by now. But pink is my favorite color this one on that's what it looks like on this is what it looks like next to boss lady this is the top one up here that I'm now wearing this is a fave love it love it this is the next one. This is one of her best sellers, if I'm not mistaken. This is called Gwen. It's a really pretty um, neutral. If you remember the video I did the first time, I went on and on about how we need to stop using the, the term nude for lip glosses for black women because beige is not nude, but this is really good nude for brown skin girls. I like it. It has like a gray undertone. So this is Gwen, and that is it. The top one is Gwen. Gwen is really pretty for if, in my opinion, if you had like a lot going on with your eye makeup and you wanted just a kind of neutral lip, this would be perfect for that. The next one we have here is Gift from Virgo. This is a really pretty sheer with um, pink glitter in it. Love this. I wear this a lot of times alone or I'll put this on top of other things. So this is Gift from Virgo really pretty like this is that girl for sure clear pink with glitter so this is gift from Virgo at the top here really pretty really really pretty if you're somebody who just is in love with your natural lip color then this is something really good to just put on top when you don't want to do too much when you just want to let the lips do what they do okay the next one that we have is called So Bare. This is a beige. Mine is old. That's why it's like separating, but it still works. Old stuff doesn't work. Who said that? Not me. Still works. So I'll show you this. This is what um, some people would consider nude, but we're not going to call it that. It's beige. Now, 
Now this, I definitely would dress it up with a lip liner, probably a dark brown one. But for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to put anything on with it. So this is So Bare. And this is it down here at the bottom. So Bare. Really pretty. I like. I feel like I could do it like this. But I don't want to do it like that. That might be too much for him. We're gonna do a lip liner. Okay, and last but finally, finally, finally not least, we have Snobbish. This is my hands down favorite lip gloss of all time. All the other lip glosses could die and if you leave me this one, I'd be fine. That is dramatic, but that's why y'all come to this channel. Y'all come here for the dramatics, okay? But this is Snobbish. This is my favorite, this is my baby, this is my Barbie pink lip gloss. She's very cute. So this is snobbish, and I'm gonna swatch it on the back of my hand, as promised. I usually do wear it with a brown lip liner, but I can honestly do it without as well. So this is snobbish down at the bottom. Okay. So those were all the lip glosses that I had that I could get my hands on. All six are here. And I'll go back through them. So this top one is Gift from Virgo. This brownish one is um, Gwen. This is the one I have to find the name for and I will link it in the description box below. This is Boss Lady. This is So Bear. And this is Snobbish, which is what I have on right now. So I highly, highly, highly recommend these lip glosses. They're very hydrating. They don't dry your lips out. They don't make your lips itch, especially with this gift from Virgo. Sometimes with glitter, you have that problem of, you know, itchy lips. I don't have that problem. And so I just highly recommend these glosses. Her shipping is super duper fast and she's actually sold in Walmart now. She's on Walmart's website. Yes, yeah, she's been doing very, very big things. I will have them all linked down below. As of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on my channel. Comment down below what your favorite lip gloss is and what kind of videos you want to see next from me. And I will see you guys in the next video.